Kim Crowley, the host for the Dakota Film Festival. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Thank thanks you so for much. Having us. Yes, thanks so much for taking time out to talk to us. Of course. So, Quinn, the festival is tonight and tomorrow. It is. How do people get their films into the film festival? Do they just submit them to you, or do they need to be nominated to have their films uh, shown? So we host an opening um, for submissions, typically from January through the beginning of February. Mm -hmm. Anyone with a film under 30 minutes can submit it, and we have a panel of, I think we have about 13 mm -hmm. uh, volunteer selection committee members that watches as many as they can, and we have a big meeting, and fight for the ones that we think deserve to be shown. Wow, amazing. And so it is a real honor to be able to have your film shown. Uh, it really is. To be, make it through that selection process. Yeah, mm -hmm. I believe this year we had about 120 submissions oh, wow. of those, and we were only able to show 14 over the two nights. Man, mm -hmm. so, so are they able to resubmit their movie for the next year? I guess they're maybe working on other things while they're doing that, but is that a possibility that they can resubmit it for selection the following year? We certainly don't I always give us your film again, yeah. we'll take another, take another look, look, at, look at, it. at it. Maybe we'll like it more the second time. <laughs> um, but we typically say anything that's been created in the past two years, okay. we don't want it to be too Super, dated. Yeah. But yeah, submit it again, keep submitting, mm -hmm. submit something new. Yeah, excellent. Okay, and Kim, you are the host this year. I'm the host this evening, yes. This, so how did you get involved with the film festival? Has film been something that you've been interested in your whole life? Well, uh, film and also working with the mass communications department at Bismarck State College, okay. which is how I got to meet everyone at Dakota Media Access, and okay. then I got involved that way sure. um, as first in the selection committee, and mm -hmm. then um, later on as one of the hosts for the event on Thursday. Yeah. So it's been great. It's been it's been a long time, and it <laughs> changes every year. It's just it's the same. Even if we have the same basic uh, setup it still changes because yeah. the films are the so films different are and um, just because of things that are going on um, out in the world as well just thinking about it and how do you put together a good selection for the festival yeah amazing so what part are you most looking forward to then I like having the panel discussions mm -hmm. because it's of course viewers can make their own decisions it's we're not there to tell them anything but it really brings up some interesting points as well um, and kind of highlights some of the things that people either have questions about or that they just want to talk more about. So sure. panel discussions are a great addition to the program for sure. Yeah, absolutely. So Quinn, what kind of um, exposure do you think that this film festival gives to both new and experienced people working with films and submitting those? So short films as a form I think is a great starting off point for a lot of filmmakers. Mm -hmm. It's the cheaper option than making <laughs> a feature film. So it's a great starting point and I think something that is really cool to have in North Dakota because mm -hmm. we don't have a very large film presence so, and we don't get to screen short films a lot so for people that haven't seen short films very often can only watch on their laptop mm -hmm. it's a chance to see it up on the big screen and then we're bringing it we have three filmmakers coming tonight that are we'll have panels after you'll get to meet other filmmakers and get to see your film up on a big screen is always a very special thing. Yeah, I can't imagine that feeling to see all that hard work culminate and be able to show your friends and family as well as strangers in the audience what you've mm -hmm. worked on. So uh, what I think is interesting is that it's two separate nights. It's tonight and tomorrow, but each night has like a different theme. And we have about a minute left, so can you quickly kind of explain those those nights, how each one is different? Yeah, so tonight will be, we call it a human interest forward night. It's really our discussion night. Mm -hmm. We have three filmmakers coming in that will have discussions about their film. There are three great documentaries mm -hmm. and then we have two animated pieces. One is about the Holocaust and someone telling their story and it's a wonderful little film was nominated for an Oscar this year and mm -hmm. then we have what they are saying is the first AI created film oh and goodness. we'll have discussions mm -hmm. about what that means. We'll have discussions with filmmakers and then to anyone who's been to the film festival before, Friday night will be the more traditional night mm -hmm. of a variety of all genres. You'll get a little taste of everything. You'll laugh. Yeah. You'll be a little scared. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll give you a little bit of everything. Wonderful. And so I think we had the information up on the screen, but there are, uh, you can go to the Eventbrite website to buy tickets, right? And you can yeah. buy a two-day pass or just one day at a time. 
Yep, and you can go to our website at dakotafilmfestival.org for that, okay. or you can show up at the door. Tickets are a bit more expensive that way, but we can so, get you a ticket. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. buy them in advance if you want to save a buck or two. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for joining me today. It was thank a you. wonderful opportunity to have you. Thank you so thank much you. for yeah. having us. Yes.